everyone. Uh, today I want to talk to you about my favourite instant communication tool and what it's like instant comms on steroids when you compare it to other tools and apps that you're probably using out there. So um, it's a um, Wednesday morning, it's a little bit humid, wet, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting uh, running conditions because it's a uh, it's, it's kind of spitting and raining and windy, but it's got a really warm tinge to it, so it's kind of got that tropical humidity feeling. Um, quite difficult to run in humid conditions, it affects your breathing, but um, I'll talk to you about that this, uh, breathing techniques in another episode when I talk about running. But today is Wednesday, which is all about business systems and outsourcing. So um, this is arguably, probably, my favourite favorite app. And the app I'm going to talk to you about is Slack. Now, uh, those of you who me Slack is S L A C K. My uh, the way I pronounce it, <laughs> you can't can't understand very well. But it's um it's an amazing app, and uh, I used it a long time ago when it was first out. Um, and then for whatever reason, I came away from using it. I think it was mainly because <coughs> I was struggling to get my team's commitment to using it. And uh, I think the first lesson here is whatever software you and apps you use, my rule number one is less is more. So um, you want to use as few number, the fewest number of um, software packages and apps in your business as feasibly possible. Otherwise, you're creating something that's over engineered and uh, over complex. So if you're going to use this, you need to get your buy in from the team and almost ban you know, instant comms on other platforms when in the business. Uh, when working in the, in the business. So um, that's really, really important. But why is Slack so uh, so good? Well, basically, the reason I love it so much is that those of you that know me will know that I'm a, a huge Asana fan. I mean, in my uh, previous business, Systems and Outsourcing, I was, uh, you know, we were, although we weren't affiliated with Asana, we were promoting it to all of our clients because it's such an amazing tool. And to get started, you can get started with it for free. You never really need to upgrade unless you really want the advanced features. So Asana is, is amazing. And one of the main reasons I love Slack is the integrations capability. So what I mean by that, just one second. Morning. What I mean by that is it's, you know, when you look at an instant communications app, so you've got your iMessage, maybe if you're on iOS, you'll have, um, uh, Messenger, which is Facebook's Messenger platform, you have WhatsApp, you know, you've got these kind of standard communication methods which are universally used by pretty much everyone. But um, great for instant comms, and they all do a very similar thing. You can send messages, you can send little uh, video clips and things like that, uh, share links, and that sort of thing, which is really cool. But what makes uh, Slack morning significantly better, in my opinion, is the integrations. and. Um, Slack, you can integrate it with so many different applications within your business, and you can trigger automations to happen right from your Slack platform, which is truly amazing. So a uh, prime example is, so the Slack, first of all, it's like the basic feature. Slack will do everything your bog standard instant communication tool will do. It will, you can make voice or video calls from it. It's got um, mobile apps as well as uh, as desktop um, apps as well, cloud-based apps. So uh, it's universally available on pretty much any device. It will send messages and receive messages as standard. You can use all your emojis and all the stuff that you kind of use, um, you know, standard with uh, other messaging platforms. But then what it does above and beyond that, you can sync it with pretty much rare to find a, an app you can't connect to it because of, uh, it has a huge marketplace of native integrations. So ones you just have to click on, put your username and password in, and it will connect automatically for you. And if you can't find a, a native one, you can use tools like Zapier or Integromat, which is like a automation software, which, which you can make, makes it very easy to, to manually connect uh, two applications together if there isn't a native um, integration. So you can pretty much connect it to whatever you want. And, when you get to that stage, your world is your oyster because you know you can you can send emails and receive emails from your Slack account. You can 
you can uh, create tasks in your task management software. You can get updates on your calendar entries on invitations. So you can really kind of have everything, all of your notifications, everything coming into Slack. And the reason that's quite beneficial is to talk about, and you can turn your notifications off as well. So you can mute them and it will mute them automatically when you're in meetings, if you connect your calendar and these types of things. It's just really smart way of, of giving you all these little marginal gains, which can make a, a huge difference to your business. But the, my favorite integration, I suppose, because uh, everything in my life is, is run through Asana, is the Asana integration. And what you can do with this, I mean, the first rule of task management software is, well, one of the key rules, I should say, is that you want to keep all task-specific communication together. So what's the biggest issue most businesses face when they start using other kind of messaging platforms and things to communicate about stuff? It just gets lost. I mean, we've all probably been in the position before where there's a conversation happened about specific tasks, but because it's happened in the instant communication app rather than your task management software, it's a nightmare trying to find it when you're trying to refer back to it. So what Slack allows you to do is have conversations and then you can click a button and they, they get added to that specific task in Asana, which is amazing. So you can have your instant communications, but you can have it update the task in Asana. So when you're having the live real-time communication, it's in Slack, but when you need to find something historically related to a task, you can do that in Asana. So that's uh, amazing. The second thing you can do is when you're having just these conversations, you can create tasks to Slack directly into your, and put them in the right project, etc. In, in Asana, all from Slack. So when you have a conversation and there's an action to arise, you can just use the text and turn that into a task that automatically gets, the click of a button goes into Asana, signing it to the right person in the right project, it just captures everything. So, so it's, it's, it's really cool. And then obviously you can share, you know, you can share updates to tasks uh, in, in, uh, in, a, in a Slack as well. So you can link all your different Asana projects with Slack. So then you can pick and choose which ones will notify you in Slack of when a new task has been added to your list or somebody's commented on it or someone's liked it. You don't have to use the Asana inbox anymore, which the Asana inbox uh, for all its improvements it's never ever going to be instant comms because you get so much chatter in there which is uh difficult to siphon through and people don't generally keep on top of their it's like an email inbox more than a, an instant communications message box so it always gets kind of full you get slow reactions to stuff where if you need something responded to quickly slack trumps it tenfold and you can get all your assignment notifications but you can set it up in a way that will um limit only the ones you want to see. So you don't have to, I mean, you can do that in Asana as well, but it just, you know, trust me, it's, it's 5,000 times better when it comes to notifications, instant comms, and communication with your team. And that's, I think that's the big one. I mean, I came from a, you know, my, I have a very systemized business and I'm systemizing my new businesses at the moment. And Slack is at, at the forefront of this. Uh, it's, a, it's a hugely important part of this journey. So. Uh, and, and that's really, really important. When you, you know, after COVID, so many businesses are going to a more remote working environment. And, you know, they're probably normally used to having an issue rather than instant comms, they just wander across the office to speak to their colleague. All of a sudden that facility has now been removed. A lot of people would see that as negative, but I see it as a huge positive because you then stop all the you know, the personal chit chat and how you're doing and all that stuff, which can eat into your time. And you can do it all remotely through a tool like Slack. You can do asynchronous communication. It links really, really well to Loom. So, um, so, it'll auto, so it will natively play Loom videos from your Slack feed. So you don't have to go into, just things like that make it amazing. You don't have to click out of the app. So I do pretty much all my communication. Unless I can respond in one sentence, my rule is I respond with a video message. So uh, video messages are so quick and easy to do. And it just pings across and the person opens the video, watches the video. You can get my message across a lot more clearer, more detailed, I can share screens if needed. So that's my, my rule. Uh, more than one sentence, I will do a video message. And that's uh, really, really key. I try and do that in uh, emails as well. So if there's an email that I need to respond to, I know that my emails are outsourced, but I do get maybe five to seven a day I need to respond to. I would normally just send a, a uh, video message in that email body so that it gets responded to without the need to write lengthy emails again. 
another cool hack and I'll go into more ways in which you can use video to revolutionize your business in a separate video. So I uh, hope that's been super, super useful for you. But like I say, I'm only talking about the integration with Asana. I mean, if you can integrate it with Gmail, with G Suite, so it will tell you when new folders and new files have been added to your, your, uh, your, your G Suite. It will tell you when, you know, any emails, if you really wanted to, could notify you in Slack, um, which I don't recommend, but you, you can do that. You can link it with accounting software. So you can get updates when money hits the bank. All these types of things. It just saves you going through hundreds of other different apps that you may need, but you don't ever need to open if you're using Slack. And that's where it could just be a huge productivity time saving. Evernote it links with as well, so you can port stuff into your notes and things, awesome Slack. So it's a really, really, really cool tool. It'll, I mean, the options are endless. I mean, I'm only talking about the ones that I use on a, uh, on a daily basis. But there are loads more. You can, uh, the only thing it doesn't have, unless you go for the paid version, that I've noticed is the, is the ability to um, screen share on a video call. But again, if you're using things like Loom, uh, you can send the video, the screen sharing instruction for free, or there are loads of integrations you can use. And what I generally use because we pay for G Suite is Google Meet, where I can record all any meetings and stuff that need to be recorded, and I can share screen and everything through that as well. And you can trigger them from uh, from Slack, those meetings. So you can send a link into Slack and it, it triggers it all from Slack as well. So there hasn't been really an app or a piece of software that I've found that I haven't been able to plug into my Slack interface. The other thing that you can do with Slack as well is how you structure it all up. So you have the ability to have channels. OK, so it's like groups of conversations or you can have a channel that links to a Asana project for certain updates. So you can segment the communications really, really nicely. Obviously, you've got your direct messaging with individual people, but then you can create channels for group messaging. You can put permission structures in play. You can have, you know, choose who accesses which one. And it's um, just really, really, really super user friendly. It does, I say that it's super user friendly once you've, you've, you've learned it. And I do recommend you, you try and learn Slack because you can also do loads of things with shortcuts. So for example, if I press forward slash screen or in, in the chat feed, it would automatically open a link for, to join my screen sharing software. Or I could, uh, I could put uh, forward slash Asana and it gives me all the options I could do with the Solana. So you, you can get really good with, with kind of almost like low level programming where you can trigger things off with, with kind of little snippets of code, which is uh, really cool. And if you link this with something like Text Expander as well, which I'll talk about on another video, which is another, another one of my absolute favorite uh, productivity apps is you know you can supercharge your instant comms where what used to take you i mean bear in mind mine's fully systemized so i get such a small amount of inbound comms now compared to what i used to but even with the small amount i get i've supercharged even further so that stuff i do respond to i can do it super super quick it just uh it just all happens so so quickly it takes up such little uh, such a small amount of my time now compared to what it used to. So, I like I said, I'm not affiliated with Slack, but strongly recommend you, um, you you check it out if you're not already using it. Uh, if you are using it, I love Slack, so any way, cool ways you're using it, which is making massive time savings or huge productivity advancements in your business, please comment, let me know, share it with people because this is stuff that is hugely valuable to people. And that's what my vision for this vlog was all about, giving the most value for free. So uh, if other people can add to that as well, all the better. Um, any questions about it, drop me a line, like, share, comment, as always. Um, if it's going to help more people, uh, even better. So, um, but like I say, I'll start putting new integrations into my Slack world. Stuff like, you know, I'll try and integrate it more with my social media platforms and things so I can see how far I've got reach on certain, certain apps, etc. So there's, I'm exploring more ways constantly on what I can do with Slack. So uh, I'll keep you posted on this as, a, as we go. But um, yeah, so to summarize, it is instant comms on steroids. Does everything that your bog standard instant communication tool of choice will do, plus a huge amount more. There is a slight learning curve to it. To get started, it's very easy. To get great with it, it takes a bit of time and effort and, and learnings. But I always say, you know, look at it. My uh, property mentor used to tell me, 
invest one pound to get three pounds back. Well, you know, when you're investing time in Slack, you can spend one hour in Slack and you'll get three hours back and probably infinitely more. So that's a really cool way of looking at the time it takes to look into this. I would not be advising you spend time on stuff if I didn't think that there'd be a return on your time spent. And I definitely think there will be with this app. So I uh, hope that's been a, a useful overview. Um, the one thing, the one integration I would, I would say strongly if you integrate it with more than ever is your task management or project management software. Um, other integrations are more optional and you can gradually integrate those, but you do need to do a, a bit of a learning curve. They do have pretty good tutorials that you can watch through the Slack platform. But if you've got a team of people, you need to get everybody to go through it. Make sure they do it. Make sure they embrace it. Because the things like little emojis and stuff as well, and how you use them to notify people when you've watched something or you've looked at something, little little hacks like that are really important as well. So uh, just uh, the other final thing I'll tell you is a cool hack that we use. It came from more, I learned this more from the agile way of, uh, of project management. But um, we have a daily update in our Slack channel, an update called Daily Updates. And everybody in the team basically for posts a 30 second to a minute video every day in the daily Slack channel, just telling everybody what they did yesterday, what they're doing today, and uh, what impediments or challenges they faced. And just that little bit of communication and using it through Slack keeps everyone on point gets a unit, you know, unity together, collaboration, where if somebody's having some problems, we will jump in and help that person. And uh, also we can check the people working on the most important things and what their plans are for tomorrow. And it just keeps everybody on the same page. It's not Big Brother, it's all about team collaboration. And being part of that, and that's really, really important when you're a part of a team. So I hope that's useful. And uh, I will speak to you on the next episode. As always, stay positive, stay happy. Bye.